You know, I have one of my colleagues, a new lawyer I'm teaching how to work with the Church of Scientology, went into one of your local ideal orgs, and she had to use the ladies' room. There was no toilet paper. Ah. No toilet paper. Why is that with multi-million dollar orgs, there's no toilet paper? Just curious. Stuart, I have to educate you on how money works within the church. The structure of the church financially is a pyramid. Money flows upward. Up the pyramid. Out of every hundred dollars an org makes, twenty dollars goes straight up, up the top, immediately to the top of the structure, Church of Scientology International. Another twenty percent is forced to buy more books, tapes, CDs. This is mandatory restocking the bookstore. $17 goes to CO Reserves. $10 goes to the Building Fund. $5 of the 100 goes to the General Liability Fund. $30 of the $100 goes to staff pay. That's flexible. That's not guaranteed $30 goes to pay. Because more important than pay is promotion. And $14 out of that $100 has to go to the spam you get in your mailbox. The magazines, the flyers, the CDs, whatever they ship out. So $14. Now, promotion is more important than staff pay. Remember the church, I, I, the, the, this breakdown I've given you is for all the satellite orgs. It's a different structure for sea orc orgs. These are for little class five orgs limping around. This $14 left to pay utilities and general incidental expenses. Light bulbs, toilet paper can get paid out of a staff member's pocket because the money is gone. And whenever people buy books, yes. tapes, it has to be restocked immediately. So it's not really cash for the org. If somebody bought $10,000 worth of books, they immediately have to reorder $10,000 worth of it because mm. the bookstore can't be empty. No, I can understand that. That $10,000 goes to bridge, and of course it flows upward to altar services. Yes. I wonder if Miss Cabbage gets a percentage of all books sold, a little bonus fee there. Well, that's very interesting you would ask in uh, the Founder's Will, you know, he got 10% of everything. Mm. And I wonder who is now the author. Because the author must be paid 10% of everything. And if the author is dead, then someone might be standing in his place. Oh. You see, getting the 10% as the FSM for the entire church. Mm. But this is all just speculation. None of these ideal orcs have any kind of super savings electrically. They don't have solar panels. No. Do you know what the utility bill is for Dallas Orc? I have no idea. Well, in Dallas it's 106 degrees, 104 degrees in summer. Yeah. The whole building has to be air conditioned. Yes. Do you know what it costs to air condition? A bill can be $40,000 for utilities. Per month? Where is that coming from? Well, if it's all gone, it must be coming from local parishioners. Well, do you do tap I... your local people to pay the utilities? Yes. Oh. Some of the lawyers take pity when we tell them utilities are about to be switched off. They all will be in darkness. An e meter can't be charged. If an e meter can't be charged in the wall, there is no auditing. Oh, I see. And people with a soft heart cough up money for utilities. Yes. Well, there is only this little percentage left. You can see why staff go home with twelve dollars a week. But they're religious volunteers. I know because I help write the contract on that. That's why they're volunteers. They're volunteers that get a stipend. Yeah, well, it's not really payroll. 
No, down in the trenches, I imagine the Church of Scientology can be pretty rough. I'm glad we're sitting here on the top floor in Hollywood. <laughs>